get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Well, looky there. Surprise, surprise. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Just when you thought, and I might have thought that I wouldn't be making another video this soon, here I am. We're going to go for a downtown ride and maybe a little something thereafter. I don't know. It's not a bad day out. A little bit cloudy. Not bad. So let's go for a ride, guys. So yesterday, I had a doctor's appointment, and I get there, and of course, the ladies, you know, comes in there and has my chart and writes down things that, you know, I'm there for. All right, a couple minutes go by, eventually the doctor comes in. So what are you here for? Well. First thing that came to mind was I wanted to say, well, you got my chart where everything's wrote down. What do you think I'm here for? <laughs> but I didn't say that. And I kind of sat up in my seat and kind of, uh, you know, I was kind of like, uh, okay, well, you know. And as soon as I started to talk, he butted in and said, now we need to, you know, I don't have time to mess around, you know, let's get, you know, let's get to the point. I'm in urgent care today and they, they fit you in and, and, uh, so let's get to the point. So I was kind of stunned by that. What I wish I'd have done at this point, you know, a day later, I wish I would have just said, okay, we're done here and got up and left and made sure to complain to whoever you complain to about their worthless doctors. But anyway, he continues, you know, to pretend to listen. Of course, kicking back in his chair, like he just don't have time, which he made clear. Forgive that clicking, I got a bottom bracket problem. But uh, I told him, you know, well, I got three things that I'm concerned about. One, my leg is still swelling up from after you switched my medication and swore that that was the problem. You know, like a year ago, you know, my leg is still swelling. Uh, I have abdominal pain, like kind of right underneath my right rib. I've had that for like three years. Even had a CAT scan done on it. Uh, and I have a lump underneath my right booby. And I've even had a mammogram before. So, dang. So he basically proceeded, you know, to 
to say, you know, so what's your main concern? You know, what's your main concern with all this? I'm like, well, you know, everything you you read and and even have people tell you that they've experienced, you know, swelling a lot of times goes with heart problems. So I'm kind of worried about my heart and my ab, you know, my my abdominal pain up there. You know, I think uh you know, it feels like I have guts that want to pop through my lining. And then my booby, of course, you know, you worry about it being cancer. So then he's like, well, this is normal and this is normal and that's normal and don't worry about this. And I think it's just your anxiety over it. That's making it worse that you're, that's, you know, the problem. My anxiety. So it's my anxiety that's causing me the problems. I don't really have any problems. He said if they were as serious, of anything serious in nature, I would have already had problems. I would have already died or, you know, been in, you know, hospital or something along them lines. And I told my wife this morning, finally, I was trying to make sure I could get all my words and everything right and make sure I tell her everything you know as close as I can and to come to find out he's the same doctor that diagnosed my wife with anxiety problems when in fact I diagnosed her later on as having epilepsy and I was right he said she was having anxiety attacks Let me explain. When she first started having epilepsy, she would just kind of space out and stand there and her eyes would go side to side and look back and forth and she'd kind of twitch and kind of, uh, kind of like that and just stand there and... She did that for a little bit and then ended up going to him and diagnosed her with just having anxiety. And I'm no doctor. I'm a high school dropout, drive a school bus. I'm an idiot. I knew that wasn't anxiety. I knew from the first time I seen her do it, that wasn't anxiety. And he ended up putting her on some medication that eventually, if she had come off of, she could have had crazy withdrawals and even put her into epileptic seizures and everything else. But uh, just come to find out today, actually, that she's weaned herself off of that medication, finally. But, uh... So, yeah, he's misdiagnosed her. And most likely don't know how to diagnose me, because he's a piece of crap. And, uh, literally had no time for me. Let me know that right as he walked in. Within 10 seconds, he let me know he didn't have time. So that kind of threw me off my entire day yesterday. I didn't go for a bike ride. I didn't work out. I did go for a walk. I did get a walk in, but I didn't do anything else. I just felt like crap yesterday and, you know, lost. I feel like I lost a day after that.
Yeah, I'm glad they repaved this road. It was pretty rough. How you doing? Well, guys, I said I had other things talk about but I think I have more things to show look at that it's hard to get a sense of how big the tree is but it's a fairly hefty tree isn't that beautiful Guys, while you're checking out Mikey Sun TV, don't forget to also check out Old Mental Pickle. That's for our live stream video games. The game I'm live streaming right now is Halo 2 Anniversary. And I'm not very far in it, so you wouldn't have to catch up too much. I think I've only done three, maybe three live streams. And they're not that long. Half of it's me talking and half of it's cutscenes. So, yeah, catch up with me on there. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Get my channels out there, guys. Not a pretty tree. Bushes. No trees. So we have our world's biggest fish fry activities kind of starting. Kind of starts out with beauty pageants, which I don't care much for the odor I get. I think they're kind of stupid. Aren't women the biggest advocates for not judging beauty on the outside, but on the inside? but yet throw their little kids off in beauty pageants and themselves and wearing makeup and fake eyelashes and fake nails and fake boobs and fake butts and clothes that tuck and, and hug and, and all that. Isn't that weird? People like to say one thing and do another. Lots of contradictions in our lives.
yeah we got some activities kicking off from crash derby things to other stuff how y'all doing Carnival will be starting up in a couple days. They were already putting it together. Other such goodies, you know, arts festivals and uh, little concerts and different things and catfish races. Yeah, catfish races, guys. Then Friday, the big conclusion with the with the parade. The parade used to be a lot bigger and better. Used to have people from everywhere coming in. Uh, bands and uh, big floats and it was a whole lot bigger deal at one time. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care nothing about them. All that stuff. I swear, if you didn't know better, you'd think it was October. That house is one of the very first jobs I ever did. When I started uh, working construction, basically all I did there was I came in at the end and was painting, helped hang some cabinets. That's about it. Little did I know, not long after, I would destroy my back. Well, they're getting it. They're getting it going. Well, guys, I'm home. I got in a pretty good ride. I don't know how many miles I got. Maybe 15. I'm lucky I got that. It looked like it's gonna rain. <sighs> All right, guys. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment to my channel. Support my channel. It's a good, wholesome, decent channel. Check out the playlist. That's where everything's at. Also, check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games. Right now, I'm playing Halo 2 Anniversary. All right. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff on everything. All right. Don't forget, guys. Get up. Get out. Get ready. Do it to it. Even on a day mid-April, when it looks like about mid-October or November. <laughs> I don't know what time of the year it is. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!